the moment that you got your first professional paying music job? Like, is, was it background or like what? what background was it? and it actually was uh, Kashim. Um, you know, I was doing club and stuff. I would, I was, you know, with a local band and we did, you know, clubs and stuff like that. But the first professional money that I made was definitely Kashif. I knew of Kashif when he was in the group Stepping Stone mm -hmm. and from Brooklyn. And then I knew that was the same guy that went into BT Express. Right. So I didn't actually meet him till one day we were at this event. It was like a talent show kind of thing. And we were in the hallway just kind of singing and Kashif came in and he always wore Capizios, you know. <laughs> You remember those shoes? I can see know? it. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. He always went, and I thought that was kind of striking. I was like, we, we actually bought a pair. The, two, the, the guy that I used to sing with, he's like, wow, those are pretty cool. Let's save up and get us a pair of those. So we actually bought Capizios after that, but we got it from Kashif. But Kashif, you know, he came in, he was, you know, Kashif, he's listening and he'd be like, oh, yeah, let me put this note here. And, you know, and all of a sudden now he's like guiding the whole the whole music he's taking over <laughs> yeah he's taking over that's what he does and uh he said you know he pulled me aside he said i really like your voice he says um uh, uh, i'd like you to come to the studio i'm doing um it was the melba moore's album melba peach melba album mm -hmm. and he says um come down i want to i want to try you out on some stuff i said okay came down and we just started hooking up from there and wow it was great yeah and I was going to ask like you that. about your relationship with Kashif, but I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was good like that. He would, do, he would, he bought a new BMW. This is how he would get me to do things. He came to my house. I lived um, across the street from Prospect Park, and he got this brand new gray BMW. And he came over, and rang my bell. I'm like, "What, Kashif?" He's like, "Hey, I'm Kashif." He says, "Um, come on downstairs." He says, "I want you to check out my car." I'm like, "Okay, cool." Came down, he says, you want to drive? I said, I can't, I can't drive. <laughs> he says, yeah, you can. He said, come on in, let's just drive. And he, you know, he's telling me what to do and do this and that. And I'm doing this stuff. And we wind up in the studio. Right <laughs> on. He tricked you. <laughs> he got you. <laughs> he's like, oh, we had the studio. He drove, we, I drove to Celestial Sounds. I didn't even have a license. And uh, <laughs> we went upstairs and we started recording stuff. And, that, and that's when he was working on uh, George Benson and he was doing some things. So, you know, he was always pretty good like that. So when we just started hanging and all, and when he would do his albums, he would always call me. And I think that's the thing. A lot of people, when they, they'll say, oh, you do, you know, that sound like Kashif. I'm like, no, you're hearing me on Kashif. Because yeah. Kashif never wrote or anything for me you know, or produced. But I was on his stuff. Right. So a lot of people that heard him, you know, was hearing me, you know, and they were like, "Oh, that sounds like Kashi." I'm like, "No, that I was doing. I was doing Kashi stuff." <laughs> so that that was. <laughs> I still get that to today. 